Soul Facebook family. My name is Patricia Boyer. I'm an abstract artist here in Charlotte. I was here at 3139 Trinity Road with my granddaughter, Janessa, my granddaughter, Anaya, my youngest granddaughter, Addison. We were here selling paintings today. We just about sold out. Uh, we still have a lot of paintings that can be found uh, at Art in the Park coming up in September. We're here at my um, niece's cafe today. We were open uh, from one to five. My granddaughter Janessa sold a lot of paintings today. My granddaughter Addison, she brought, even brought in her art. I'm very happy for these young ladies. They're following in their Nana's footsteps because like I said, I'm an abstract artist. I have art here at Coffee and Thompson Gallery, Foster Gallery, Whitewater uh, Diamonds on Hunt, My Holly, Huntersville Road. Also, I serve uh, starving artists and uh, a couple of other Sycamore Brewery. I've had paintings there. So what I want you to do is come in and take a look at the art, the fabulous art we have on display today. Like I said, my granddaughter Janessa, Anaya, and Addison. Come on in. This is the, the painting that I purchased from At Pat's Art and the name of it is called String Universe and as soon as I saw it on the wall I was like I have to have it. The way she had the lighting it was as if the painting had bling on it. It like it just sparkled. So now I'm going to go home and try to get that same effect that she had on her wall. I'm going to try to bring it home and get the same lighting effect on it. But I am so happy. I love the colors and I love Pat. And I thank her so much for letting me purchase this painting. My first painting from her and not my last. This is coming from our up and coming Janessa. And I'm going to be honest with you, when I saw this, all I kept thinking about was days of sitting at the hair salon as a kid. And, um, and I just thought this would be a great addition to a beautician that we go to, um, to have in her hair shop that she just opened up. And so this would be a great uh, gift for her. So we really did like this. Janessa is my girl. I've known her since she was like elementary age and I haven't seen her in years, but I look forward to seeing her and so I can give her a big hug and tell her she is doing her thing, following in her grandma's footsteps. Hey, so uh, came out here to 9139 uh, Trinity Road supporting my mom and my daughter. Uh, this is one of the paintings that my daughter drew. Her name is Janessa. Uh, she's a local artist, 16. And this one is called Depression. And what I like most about it is it shows where someone can be in their lowest, but at the same time, it shows a bright side to every darkness that you may go through. And I just love this painting, so I actually got it for myself. I came to Pat's uh, studio thinking I wasn't too sure what I was going to select and um, I actually liked a, quite a few of her paintings that she had but this one right here caught my eye I guess because orange and these light colors are my favorite however the greens is also a favorite color of mine too and so when I found this this actually popped and I, I told Pat I told Pat, I got to have this. And so um, I am so glad I actually stopped in. And thanks to Tanya for reminding me that her gallery was here and to stop in and see this. So thanks, Pat. Owner of the uh, the cafe where we're here. This is my niece Keisha. Her is K and K's, and my other niece Cache is their partners with it. But I'm I'm just so grateful that they let me use um, 
this event here this, this evening. I'm just so grateful. I get to show some of my paintings over here off of uh, Beatty's Fort Road, where I have worked for almost 30 years. So I'm just glad. If y'all get a chance, come by and check them out during the week. They, they have a cafe here and they have excellent food. You will not be disappointed. It's called K&K. And it's off Trinity Road, it's 9139, okay? And look how beautiful it is in here. So I'm just grateful that we're out of the sun. They gave me a, a really beautiful building here to, do, to bring my art. Um, they got jazz playing. As you can see, some people are coming and going. We're selling painting. Oh, okay, okay. You like that? Which one do you like the most? And I'll give you a deal. And this has more color in it, but I like how bright that is. Hi, my name is Kenya of Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm so happy to purchase these two beautiful pieces from Pat at Pat's Art Gallery and once I buy my house, I can't wait to put it up and it just makes me so happy with this pop of yellow. As you see, I love yellow. So it's all throughout her pictures and it's, it just sends me happy vibes and now everybody wants this picture. <laughs> so I'm glad I have it and going to be the proud owner of it. Thank you again, Miss Patricia. Thank you so much. <laughs> My name is Ruby, I'm Pat's niece, and I chose these two pieces because uh, they look like a set for one, but I mainly got them for my grandchildren's room because uh, they, I always talk to them about Pat's drawings and how she's gifted with art, and uh, I wanted them to see some of their, her work, so I got these two pieces to put in their room so they can always look at it, and when they get older they can say, my aunt drew those, and I, we've had those for a very long time, but I, I admire the colors. The colors are beautiful, and there's just something about them that caught my eye. They complement each other, and that's why I chose these two, and I'm sure my nieces, my grandchildren are really going to love it. It's going to go in their room, and it's going to be a perfect fit for them. Hi, my name is Sean. I actually looked at this piece as soon as I came in. Um, it actually caught my eye here in Charlotte. We don't have a lot of black artists or a lot of um, cultural you know, awareness. So I really like this piece. Um, she said that it means happiness. And so um, it actually stood out to me, the vibe, the picture, and just come out and support this young lady, you know. Yes. I love Pat's art. I actually found her on the, I stalked her on the internet and I found her on the internet and I stalked her until, <laughs> until she would hang out with me. And so then we would hang out together and we, we did art exhibitions and followed her success since not the very beginning, but pretty much close to the beginning. <laughs> but I, th I, I think the world of her and I think she is amazing and I am totally locked into her success and I just, I'm so proud of her. My name is Brooke Musterman and I host the podcast Let's Talk Art with Brooke. And, I, and she, she says I gave her her first podcast interview and um, she was fantastic. She was absolutely fantastic and it was just, it's been, it's been, it's been so much fun knowing her and um, just getting to know her and following her successes. Support your auntie with your beautiful self. I got some beautiful nieces that always support me. 
good. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. Okay, okay. Just let us know. We got wine and we got water and we got sodas, okay? okay. I'm, my name is Patricia Boyer. Nate, it's nice to meet you too. And your name? Malcolm, it's nice to meet you. Okay. Okay, this is one of my uh, 48 by 60s. It's called the Burning Bush. I painted this one night. Um, I was actually thinking about the Bible and uh, I got up one night, I couldn't sleep. And this is the painting I came up with. It's called the Burning Bush. And it's a 48 by 60. So if you would like to grab this up today, come on, cause I definitely don't want to take it back home. Okay, I appreciate it. So if you get a chance, come on out. And this is one of my latest paintings. I'm just in love with this one. I came up with this. It's, it's not titled, but uh, I came up with this about a week ago. And one of my clients on Facebook, I hope that she'll get in here today because she said that she loved it. Uh, let's see. Let me go around over on this side. Um, some of my paintings are untitled. Oh, this is the one that you were talking about, Matthew 5, 14. Um, a city cannot be hid if it's on a mountain. So don't be afraid to let your light shine, okay? That's where this, this painting came from. Uh, you are the light of the world, okay? And then, these right here are beach pictures. Um, and this right here is one of my favorites. This one is called The Quilt. Everyone has that grandmother that has made a quilt. I remember when I was young watching my grandmother uh, sit in her home, my mother, they would, and they made these quilts from hand. They didn't use a sewing machine like most people use nowadays. So every stitch that went into that quilt was very, very special. And that's where, how this picture came along. It's called the quilt. And this one I painted a while back. And this is called a summer breeze. And it's a real unique picture, a bunch of trees with the breeze or the wind blowing behind. And that one is called summer breeze. And this one is called the lake. If you see this beautiful blue lake, and uh, this came up about a year ago. Um, after I think we had visited a couple of places, and I couldn't sleep, and that's how the lake came about. Yeah, and I came home, and I couldn't figure it out, and I couldn't get the water out of my mind. So I came up with this picture called the lake. I hope that you like both of them. Summer breeze and the lake. Hey, this Larry. I'm part of uh, Pass Art. See, she has a little showing here today. We actually did real good. Had a lot of friends, some family, some new family. We moved some uh, good pieces, and uh, we got more. I know uh, Miss D and I showed you around the place. My wife is very talented. I'm lucky to have her. And uh, we have some uh, nice pieces that maybe you want you might want. I mean, we know we're going through tough times right now. Just come down, talk to my wife, and you know, we're not here to hurt nobody, but we just want to find some uh, good homes for her work there. You know, that's the most important thing. We thank y'all for all the support. Uh, we look forward to seeing y'all in the future. Like I say, past arts, we still in business. The COVID and the pandemic didn't put us out, you know, so thank you for everybody.